Hi there, this is uh, Dave from VideoFixUniverse.com and uh, today's tutorial is in 3D Studio Max where I'm going to be showing you how to do some facial rigging. Now you may have seen some of my previous tutorials on how to um, um, rig a biped to a physique on a, on a uh, mesh. Well, today's one is how to add facial expressions. Now, first things first, you've got to make sure that your head is not got a physique or skin modifier added to it so if you do either switch it off or d don't use it at all uh, so this is probably a good thing to do before you start adding your um, your biped um, however if uh, you want to do this last then disable the head from the biped completely right first things first grab the head hold shift and drag it out with the mouse and I'm going to put this as morph 1 Right, you should now have a complete replica of the face. It doesn't matter that you don't have the eyes and it doesn't matter that you haven't got the hair. All you need is the face. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom right in on the front view and also in my camera view as well. So now I have a full render preview as well as a wireframe uh, view of it. So this, this helps quite a lot. Now what you want to do now is um, whether you've got an editable poly or editable mesh select this button here which is the, uh, the vertices and click ignore back facing this means you won't accidentally click a vertices at the back of the head because we're going to be working on the ones at the front right now th the more polygons you've got in your model means it's harder and harder to actually edit this so make sure that you're using a relatively medium to low poly model for this because it's so much easier um, now what you want to do well, what I'm going to do in this tutorial straight away is basically edit the eyes. Um, you can ch you can actually add uh, smiles to the character, uh, growls to the character, um, make him say particular letters so that you can use it as lip syncing. Um, you can add dimples to the face. You can change the eyebrows. Pretty much anything. But for the p purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to close the eye. Okay. So select one of the vertices and bring it up. Actually, let's just zoom a bit further in here so we can see what we're doing. That's better. Now, what you have to do with this is work very slowly. Um, try and work with one vertices at a time, sometimes two. You can even grab a group sometimes, but you do have to remember that the more you grab, the more you're going to completely distort the face. And sometimes you can make it look like a right mess, and it's a long, long time before you can get it right again. You have to basically revert back and change a few of the settings because it will just look so distorted and won't look right at all. So what I'm going to do is basically use one vertices at a time and slowly work this in, okay? As you can see, it's not looking too bad so far. And there we go. And again. Now, every time you drag one about, you do actually have to change the one next to it because it kind of stretches and it doesn't look very good at all so you do have to keep that in mind that whatever affects one vertices will affect another nearby so always make sure that you work around all the others that are close to it as well okay that's looking quite good right come out of that now as you can see I've completely closed this eye now here's where the magic goes select your main head and go to your modifier list and select Morpha. As you see, you've got a whole list of slots here, all is saying empty. Go to the first one, right click it, pick from scene, and now I'm going to select the uh, the Morph 1 head that we've just worked on. To, now you know that it, it works, you should have a little green tab next to your Morph 1, and I'm going to change this to Blink. Now with the spinner, on the ne ne right next to um, your blink tab here, we're just going to scroll this up and see what happens. And there you go. You now have him blinking. Now, now that's done. I'm just going to cancel out of that. Go back to zero. I'm going to select him and hide him. Whatever you do, do not delete those morph uh, targets because if you delete them 
you are actually deleting the reference for the morph so without that you can move this up and down and it will no, no longer change and what you have to do for each facial expression is drag out a new face uh, morph 2 and basically edit another one okay uh, you can group them up and you can hide them but you cannot delete them okay um, actually this one's cut that you don't need that in this um, and again for instance uh, I'm just gonna quickly open his mouth in this one so grab the vertices in the bottom oh, as you can see it's a bit of a problem sometimes um, grab the vertices here in the bottom lip oh I've grabbed the ones in the top lip as well as I, as I say you need to be very careful because if you if you add multiple um, vertices you could accidentally grab ones you don't want to edit so let's turn these ones off and this one 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 and this one now let's try and open it up Oh, still got a couple selected. That one there, and that one there. Is that going to work? Yeah, there we go. Right. Now I'm going to select these ones as well, and move these ones down. Except for them two. That's it. And there we go. Just, just basically um, open up the mouth. And just grab the top lip ones bring them up and with these I'm going to rotate these round slightly so the lips kind of opening up and that's all I'm going to do for that I'm not going to go for any more big changes there so but like I said you can you can do anything you want but make sure that you're very careful how you edit it because sometimes the vertices will start to distort and you'll completely lose the um, you know, the um, the smoothness on the face so let's just pick from scene and add that one as well and let's have a quick look here there we go his mouth opens and his mouth closes again right now we go we go to the final part of this tutorial alright select your helpers and dummy alright let's go into the front view add a dummy over the left eye Let's just move that along there and drag another one out over the right eye. Okay, let's make sure we select both of these and drag it right out here. Okay, let's just zoom back out. Now click point and place it between the two dummies. Okay, it's gone right to the floor, so let's just bring this up. Uh, it's up to you if you want to resize it, but it doesn't matter. Right, select the uh, the left eyeball and go up to Animation, Constraints and Look at Constraint. You should now see that you have a kind of um, line now on your cursor. Select the left dummy. Right, as you can see now the eyeball has completely gone out of place in this viewport here. So obviously if you zoom in you can see that. Uh, what you need to do is click here um, under the look constraint properties at keep initial offset and that will reset the eye okay now go back to this eyeball and animation constraints look at constraint and select the right dummy same thing keep initial offset to reset the eye now select both of these dummies and link it to the point. Now with the point you need to link that oh, let's just zoom out here, you need to link that to the biped head. Okay, so it's just right, that's linked to the biped now. Hopefully your eyeball should be linked to your biped head as well. And hopefully here we go. We're now going to actually if I just zoom right in on the face you're gonna see how this works grab the point and move it around and there you go if you look in the uh, the camera viewport you can now see that the eyes are following the point they're going up and down 
left and right and it saves a lot of animating time because without this you would have to obviously you know, grab the left eye rotate it slightly and then grab the right eye rotate it slightly and make sure that it matches where the left one's looking whereas with this you know it's basically looking at the constraint and it follows it for for you now like I said if you intend for your biped to move walk or anything like that you do have to link the point to the biped head otherwise you know your model will move and this will basically stay put and your eyes will just just go crazy so you have to remember that but yeah like I say now that um, we've added our uh, morph targets you know we've got we've got a kind of opening a mouth uh, we've got him blinking one eye um, you can you can do pretty much whatever you want to um, to make this look good you know but we always have to remember that it's always small movements, um, as few vertices at a time, because the more you grab, the more you will completely distort your character's face, and it's, it makes it much harder to kind of go back and correct it. So take your time. Uh, try to avoid high polygon models, because like I said, when there's thousands and thousands of vertices on here, you know, it is just going to take absolutely forever to, correct, to um, click on the right ones and morph the face. Um, and that, my friends, is basically this tutorial. Uh, my name's Dave from video-fx-universe.com. Uh, please go over there, join the forum. Uh, there are other tutorials there. And um, I will speak to you later. Thank you very much. Goodbye.